So what's a firewall? A firewall is a software security guard that can be used in a computer or a server. It acts like a barrier between your system and the internet to protect you from potentially harmful threats. A firewall monitors the information that comes in and out of your computer network. Think of a firewall like a home security alarm system the monitors when doors and windows are opened. And if an intruder breaks in, your alarm should uh, kick in. It's also worth noting that the firewall can also be a hardware device that does pretty much the same thing as a software firewall. You would only really ever use that if you're running a data center. Debian and Ubuntu distributions come with a firewall and the configuration tool is called UFW or uncomplicated firewall. This firewall is not enabled by default, which means that all traffic is allowed to enter freely without any restrictions. And uh, you should probably enable it as soon as possible and only allow certain traffic to come in. Likewise, Red Hat and Fedora also come with a firewall and that tool is called Firewall D. This firewall is also not enabled by default, Follows the same idea, you want to enable it and only whitelist certain traffic from coming in. In the event that it's not installed, you can do so uh, quite easily by just running the yum install package manager and installing uh, firewall D. It's also worth noting that both uh, UFW for the Debian based uh, distributions and this uh, firewall D for the Red Hat distributions are really just the front end for IP tables. IP tables is another tool that is a lot more complicated and it basically opens and closes uh, ports. So these tools are the simplified tools that are the front end for the back end, which is really IP tables. Windows and OS X also have their own firewall, I should say. They can be turned on and off. Windows firewall is enabled by default. And I think OS X, it's, disabled by default, but you can enable it. In fact, always enable your firewall. So ports, what are they? A port is a communication endpoint that allows data to flow in and out of a computer or a network device. Think of a computer as a house and ports as doors and windows. For security and peace of mind, you would most likely lock your doors and maybe open a window here and there. You would also have a home security alarm that will notify you if a door is left open or if a thief breaks into your house. When you use the internet, you're interacting with a lot of services. Um, if you're using uh, you know, any browser, for example, any website, you're most likely communicating through a port called 443. If you're trying to remote desktop into a Windows computer, you're interacting with a port. As you can see the ports, these are the most common ports that, that we see right here. So just a, a quick overview here of some of the most commonly used ports. You don't need to memorize them all, but you do need to know the first two, which is HTTP and 443. In order to serve your website safely in the internet, you want to enable the firewall and open HTTP and HTTPS ports. There is almost no reason to ever open anything other than HTTP and HTTPS on the internet. And if you do, um, you can always whitelist those IPs so that only those, you know, IPs are allowed instead of allowing that across the public and potentially getting a hacker or, you know, some vulnerability hit you. For Debian distributions, you should first uh, open SSH ports and then enable it. It's important to do this because if not, you will lock yourself out. So this is the way that you would want to enable uh, ports. You would do UFW allow port number and then forward slash TCP. And then you do UFW reload. You can also close ports, UFW status numbered, and then UFW delete, and then the number of that rule. Uh, UFW doesn't really have a command that will sort of say, hey, delete, um, you know, 22 TCP. You have to delete them by number. Um, it's kind of a tedious task, but it's not so bad. And you can also check the status. This gives you uh, a list of the 
rules that you currently have. So it'll show the ports that are currently open. With Firewall D, similar, you know, if it's uh, not installed by default, you can install it running the yum update and the yum install firewall D command. You can start it and enable it. Um, the first command here will start the firewall D service. And then the second command will enable it on startup. Basically, what it will do is next time the system gets rebooted, firewall D will start right away. So you won't have to start it uh, manually next time. Likewise, you can open and close ports. To open up a port, you can do firewall dash CMD. You add the dash dash permanent dash dash add port and the port number four slash TCP. And then you would reload it with firewall D. There is a lot more typing than uh, uh, UFW, for example. But the closing ports is a lot easier. You don't need to do any of that status uh, number. You just think you just pass in the remove instead of the add port and um, that's how you can remove that port. And you can also do the status. Netstat, uh, this is a very powerful tool that allows you to display active connections, uh, ports on which the server is listening. You can install it easily by doing apt install net tools or yum install net tools if you're using Red Hat, Fedora. And you can see here in this uh, command, we run a sudo netstat dash NLTUP, all these parameters, uh, one is to list, the other one's for TCP, UDP connections, show the, the port, etc. cetera. Um, this command gives you a lot of information right here. It tells you the, the port 22 is listening. And let's say that we added, uh, you know, UFW allow 443 or 80, or if we use firewall D, CentOS, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, Netstat will list only the ports that are currently listening, not the ones that you have opened. So if you're ever having any issues, Netstat is a really cool tool that will allow you to troubleshoot things uh, a lot easier. Uh, now let's get to the demo so we can see more about uh, firewall.